Hey, this is Tyler with another Infinite Flight Air Traffic Control tutorial. Today I'll be talking about the ATIS, or Automatic Terminal Information Service. I've provided the FAA definition here, but simply put, it's a continuous broadcast of non-control information and instructions for pilots. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we'll be open at San Francisco International. Your interface will look just like this, and on the bottom left hand side you see the SFO ATIS, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And then we take a look at our METAR observation up in the top left hand corner. I'm looking at my wind, visibility, and ceiling here. Now the wind is extremely low, so we can essentially pick any runway we want, but I'm going to go and use just a very standard San Francisco International setup. And I'm going to use that runway column to define which ones I want for arrivals and departures. So we're going to go and take runway one left and one right for departures. So we'll click those two boxes there. Typically what I like to do also is use runway 28 left for my heavy departures. So we'll use 28 left for departures. For arrivals, we'll use 28 left and 28 right. So this is a very standard setup. So now we move on to the remarks. The remarks basically gives very specific airport information and these first two are going to be about intersection departures. So whether or not you want to allow them is completely up to you. If you don't, then the aircraft needs to take off full length. Pattern work, again, might be dictated by visibility and ceiling, so in this case I wouldn't want pattern work because the visibility is not great. Flow control is going to be used in very busy scenarios where you want to control the departure rhythm, and there might be longer waits for departure. Long taxi, again, is pretty self-explanatory if they're going to go to a runway that might be designated for departure, but not necessarily closest to them. Also we have gate hold, which is if you want the aircraft to remain at their gate rather than push back just for the airport to clear up a little bit. Rolling departures means they'll get right on the runway and begin rolling. Flight plan required is rather self-explanatory but extremely important. And then straight out departures means that they'll get on the runway and fly runway heading after departure. For NOTAMs, if you have an event in progress, you can go ahead and use that. We have another NOTAM for size restrictions, which if the airport is smaller and you might not want heavies or something like that, you can use that. And then the last two deal with, again, that METAR observation that's in the top left, so severe weather or low visibility. So now we're going to go and set up our remarks and notams for San Francisco with no intersection departures, no pattern work, flight plan required as always. And to keep my traffic moving, I'll go ahead and use the rolling departures remark. For notams, we'll go ahead and refer back to that METAR with our low visibility and ceilings and use the low visibility. So after this, we go in the top right-hand corner, select Information Alpha, and then Publish. San Francisco Airport, Addis Information Alpha, Time 1843 Zulu. Wind now once we've published it, I'm going to go ahead and go on my frequency, scroll down to Broadcast Information, and we can go ahead and notify that Information Attention Alpha is now current. Addis information now anytime now something current. changes in your ATIS, whether it's the actual observation, your remarks, your notams, you want to actually change the ATIS code and it should go in alphabetical order here. So I'm taking off the low visibility, I'm taking off the rolling departures, and then I'm going to go to the top right hand corner and select information Bravo. So the next one would be Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, etc. It is important to note as well that whenever the aircraft call for pushback or taxi, they're actually going to Airport. state which ATIS information, ATIS information they point. have. So if they call you with information Bravo but Charlie's current, you can let them know that, hey, information Charlie's now current and that'll cue them to go back and check the ATIS. So I want to thank you all for checking out this ATIS tutorial. Be sure you like and subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on your favorite social media platform. My name's Tyler and I'll see you next time.